All right, so moving now to the more um, troublesome insects, which are those that feed directly on the fruits and cause uh, that unmarketable, un 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 unacceptable damage. Uh, we have uh, three primary pests, three key pests in peaches. Um, plum curculio, which you see does uh, uh, this kind of uh, scarring, a sunken scarring type of damage, can deform the fruit if it's serious enough. Uh, and, and that's, you know, that's fairly characteristic, uh, difficult to confuse with other kinds of fruit damage, um, such as oriental fruit moth, which is uh, the key pest, I would say, in, uh, in peaches. Uh, very serious damage because it's an internal feeder, and so you get the, these messy wounds uh, that have the gumosis and some frass in the gum uh, coming out of the wound at the side of, in the side of the fruit. Tarnished plant bug also attacks peaches along with many other uh, crops. Uh, in, in peaches, uh, this kind of, uh, it, does, it does a cat facing damage if the attack occurs during the early part of the season, uh, like uh, petal fall or early or, or pink, let's say, earlier than that, uh, just when you're starting to get the buds forming. But uh, later on in the season, you get this uh, fruit scarring, which is nevertheless uh, unacceptable uh, damage as well. So in terms of uh, managing plum curculio, um, it's not really practical to try to monitor for them, but just to be aware that after you get uh, one or two evenings that are uh, 60 degrees or warmer, after the shug split or around the shug split uh, timing, uh, the, the um, adults will be active in the orchard and they'll be starting to lay eggs. And so you may start to see some egg laying scars. And uh, if you're seeing that, um, then uh, that's an indication that you really need to uh, attend to them. As I said, there's not, uh, it's not really a hard and fast rule um, for um, making a treatment decision. Basically, uh, if you get, if you're at the appropriate uh, uh, bud development stage and you have the right weather conditions, uh, you're, you're essentially in plum curculio um, territory. And so, and that's, that's fairly, you know, um, uh, normal for most um, uh, farms in, in uh, New York, most, most places where peaches are grown. Um, so control tactics, we have some good options available um, at Petalfall, uh, Imidan, Actara, Avant, XRL, they're all very good. And also because uh, oriental fruit moth, uh, first generation larvae are generally hatching along in this time, uh, these um, products that are asterisk, the Imidan, Avanda, and XRL also do double duty in um, uh, controlling OFM during this uh, time of the season. So that's something to keep in mind for your treatment decisions. Uh, if you're an organic grower, uh, Surround is an option uh, to, to be used against plum curculio. It's not the best material, but it's, it is uh, fairly effective. You know, it needs to be reapplied frequently if you get rain, uh, rainy period. Uh, it's certainly better than doing nothing. Um, now, the plum curculio only has so much egg laying capacity uh, every year in the, in the mated females, and it's uh, temperature uh, related. So, uh, work that's been done by researchers has determined that, developmental work has determined that uh, the overposition uh, period uh, goes for quite a while, but really after about uh, 300 and some odd, 308 degree days, base 50, after the petal fall of apples, so as a sort of a um, uh, rule of thumb, a ballpark rule of thumb, if you know the petal fall date of uh, Macintosh in your area, something like mid-May usually, uh, you can, you can uh, extend the sprays until 308 degree days uh, past that point. Um, the, the insects would still be able to lay eggs, but at that point, they really stop moving into the orchards. Uh, they sort of hang out in the woods and in other places where they where they um, develop uh, past that point. So uh, what this generally translates into is that uh, if, if we have a warm and dry spring, uh, you might need two sprays overall, so petal fall and, and one uh, 10 to 14 days later. If we have a really cold and rainy and wet spring, uh, things slow down, including the plum, plum curculio biology, and so uh, it, it could require three sprays. 